Jaded Stitches show and happy Valentine's Day. It is fast approaching. So we thought we would take the opportunity to show you all how to make a heart-centered granny square. This is a six inch motif. So earlier this week we gave you a crochet quick fix on how to make just the little heart section. On its own it makes a cute little valentine or strung together it could make a cute little garland and it's also a fun little applique if you wanted to add it to another existing project you already had. But we did say we were going to show you how to turn it into a full-on granny square and that's what we're going to do today. If you enjoyed today's tutorial and find it helpful, please consider supporting our show by hopping over to our Etsy shop and picking up a written copy of this pattern. The pattern will include the heart, how to turn it into a granny square, and even directions on making a really cute little crib quilt. So, let's grab our hooks, grab some really pretty Valentine's Day inspired yarn, we'll head on over to the craft table and we will stitch up a 6 inch heart at the center granny square together. In order to make our heart at the center granny squares, I'm using 100% acrylic yarn today. It's a size 4 medium or worsted weight. You need approximately 20 grams or 36 yards of the pink color and approximately 25 grams or 45 yards of the white or the background color. You also want a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and the hook I'm using today is a 5.5 millimeter also known as an I or a 9 in the US, or a size 5 in the UK. And if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to click that button and the bell so you never miss another episode. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. Visit our shop and purchase a pattern. You'll help support our show. And we'll put a link to our shop in the description box down below. We're going to begin with our heart. So get your heart color. We're going to make a cinch circle. If you have trouble with the cinch circle method, you can chain five and join with a slip stitch to the first chain to make a ring. But I'm using the cinch circle method so that the center of my heart is nice and tiny. Once you have your cinch circle and you've chained one to secure it, chain two more for a total of three chains out of your cinch circle. This chain three will count as a double crochet. Work two more double crochet into your circle and be sure to work over top of the little short tail so that we can cinch the circle shut when we're done. That three chains and two double crochet equals a shell. So three double crochet equals a shell and the chain three at the beginning of every row in this pattern always counts as a double crochet. Chain two for a corner. Work three more double crochet into your cinch circle. That's another shell. Chain two and repeat twice more. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain two. All into your cinch circle Make sure all of your double crochet stitches are worked over top of your short tail. You should have something that looks like this. Here's our little short tail sticking out. We have the chain three we began with and two double crochet. That equals a shell, chain two. Three double crochet equals a shell, chain two. Three double crochet, chain two. Three double crochet, chain two. You can take that short tail and cinch your circle shut nice and tight you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three we began the row with. And there is the beginning of our heart. So it's the beginning of a granny square, but we're going to turn it into a heart now. For row two, we're going to slip stitch into that center stitch. So the stitch right next to the chain three that we just joined in. You're going to slip stitch into that stitch. So you're now sitting in the very middle of a shell. Chain one. And into this first chain two corner space, you're going to work eight double crochet. Eight double crochet into that first chain two corner space. That's what we've got so far. So we joined with a slip stitch to finish the last row, slip stitched into the middle of the shell, chained one, and then worked eight double crochet into that first chain two space. 
we're going to chain one. Into the next chain two space, we're going to single crochet. Chain one. You're going to skip a stitch, so you're looking at the shell that's opposite where you started. So there's the slip stitch, the chain one that we started row two with. You're now directly opposite. You've single crocheted into that chain two space, chained one. You're going to skip this stitch, find the center stitch of that shell. You're going to work two single crochet into the same stitch, chain one and two more single crochet into that center stitch. So two single crochet, chain one, two single crochet, all worked into that middle stitch of that shell. Chain one, find the next chain two space, here it is here, work a single crochet into it. Chain one, find the last chain two space, so that's the last corner of our little square that we started with. You're going to work eight double crochet into that chain two space. So eight double crochet. All right, that's eight double crochet worked into the last chain two space. It's also right opposite the first chain two space that we worked the first eight double crochet into. Almost done. Chain one and into the same stitch. So you see where we we slip stitched to join row one into that same, so the top of that same middle stitch you're going to slip stitch to join the row. Fasten off so you can snip your yarn. Pull that nice and tight and then you're going to take a moment to weave that tail in and the other one if it's still showing across the back of your heart. So grab your yarn needle and you can weave that little tail in. Now we're going to put our heart at the center of a square. In order to do that, we're going to work row three into the back loops only, all the way around. The one exception will be this little half double crochet we put up here, but we'll get to that. So keep in mind, when I say into the next stitch, into the next stitch, you're working the back loops only for row three, and that will allow the front loops to sit up and you'll have this nice solid ridge line which makes the heart stand out a little bit better in the center of the square. So now you're going to take your background color. We're going to begin with a slip knot. Pick up your heart, turn it upside down, and you want that bottom stitch. This would be the chain one that's right in between all of those single crochets. So the bottom point, you're going to join in that back loop only your new yarn with a slip stitch. And here we go. We're going to single crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch. Remember guys, it's, ha it's the back loops only. Double crochet into the next stitch. And treble crochet into the next stitch. So we joined with a slip stitch, we worked a single, a half, a double, and a treble. There we are so far. We're going to chain two for a corner. Into the very next stitch you're going to work a double crochet. Remember we're still using only the back loops. So double crochet, half double crochet, and you're going to single crochet into each of the next four stitches. So from the chain two corner we've got a double, a half, and four singles. We're going to chain two for another corner. We're going to single crochet into the back loops only of the next four stitches. And that will be the back loop of a chain. That brings us to the center of the heart. So you're going to look all the way down here at row one. There's the shell from row one, those three double crochet. There's the center one and you can see that we worked into that. So there's where we slip stitched to join row two when we finished. We're going to half double crochet right into that stitch from row one. So all the way through that stitch. 
And that's what's going to make that nice little defining spot right at the top. You're going to want to pull back on that stitch so you can reveal the loop of the slip stitch, or the chain I should say, that's right next to it because you don't want to miss that. So you want to single crochet into that one and that might take a little bit of digging to get. There we go. So single crochet into that stitch and into the next three. So you're single crocheting across the four stitches after your half double crochet. Chain two and single crochet into the next four stitches. Remember we're still using the back loops only. So there's the chain two corner, there's four single crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet into the next back loop, a double crochet into the next back loop, We're going to work the last chain two space, so chain two for a space, and we're going to finish off that flat side. We're going to double, I should say, treble crochet into the next stitch. We're still using the back loops. So treble crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet, let me get my little tail out of the way here into the next stitch, that'll be the back loops only, and single crochet into the last stitch. So that's the back loop of the last stitch. My little tail's in the way here. <laughs> and then you're going to join with a slip stitch to the same stitch or to the slip stitch. So whichever's easier. If you're, if you're a tight stitcher, you might find that joining to the slip stitch is a bit difficult. I'm going to join to the slip stitch. And that will complete putting our heart into a bit of a square. So I like to pull up on my loop, put my hook down, find the chain two corners, put my fingers in them and pull it out so that you get that square shape happening. So now you should have something look like this. Because we worked the back loops only, the ridges, the front loops, all are unused and they sit up nice and neatly and they give you a nice defining heart shape all the way around. So there it's where we are at the end of row three. You should have nine stitches across the bottom, a chain two space, six stitches up the side, a chain two space, nine stitches across the top, a chain two space, and six stitches across the other side with a chain two space. Okay, hooks back in our loop. We are going to work the granny shell stitch now. We're going to start right where we are. We're going to chain three. This chain three counts as a double crochet. And into the same place that we joined in, we're going to work two more double crochets. So chain three to begin, two more double crochets worked into the same place. That is your first shell. Chain one. So we're going to use the chain one in between all the shells as a spacer. Jump across to the first chain two corner and work shell, chain two, shell into it. So three double crochets, chain two, three double crochet, all worked into the same chain two space. So that's three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all worked into that corner space. Chain one before you leave. We're going to skip three stitches, so if you pull back, there's stitch number one, stitch number two, stitch number three, and into that fourth stitch, you're going to work three double crochet, so there's a shell, chain one, the next thing is to find the chain two space, it's small because it's in between your single crochets, but there it is and work shell, chain two, shell into it. So three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So that's three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all worked into that chain two space in between your single crochets. Chain one, you're gonna hop over to your half double crochet, so there's the top of your half double crochet, and you're gonna work three double crochet into the top of that stitch.
chain one, hop across to the next chain two corner, there it is, it's small because it's in between single crochets, and work shell, chain two, shell, or three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all into that little chain two space. So that's that corner done. Chain one before you leave, pull back so you don't skip it, you don't want to miss this, you're going to skip two stitches this time, find the third, and work three double crochet into it. So you're only skipping two stitches when you come down this side. Work three double crochet into that next stitch. Chain one. Jump all the way down to the next chain two corner, which is much easier to see. And work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Or shell, chain two, shell. Once you've finished that corner, chain one to leave, and then you're skipping all the way over to the chain three that you began the row with, find the top of it, and you're going to slip stitch to join. So that is row four. Pull up on the loop, spin it around, find the four chain two corners, put your fingers into it and pull it out, flatten it down, and you should definitely have a square now with a heart at the center. We're going to do one, one more row of white background or whatever background color you're using. So we've joined with a slip stitch in the top of that chain three. We're going to slip stitch across the next two stitches because we just want to get to a space. So slip stitch across those two stitches and slip stitch into that chain one space. Chain three, that chain three counts as a double crochet and finish that shell with two more double crochet. And there's the first shell of row five. Chain one. The next space is a corner, so you know what goes into a corner. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So shell, chain two, shell. All worked into that corner space. You've got two chain one spaces up each of the sides of this row, so you're going to work chain one before you leave your shell, three double crochet, chain one into each of those next two spaces, because these are the spaces that run across the sides of our square, and we want to keep that square shape going. So three double crochet, chain one into each of those chain one spaces from the previous row. And that puts us up to the next corner. It's a corner space, so you work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet into it, or shell, chain two, shell. That's how you fix a corner. Once you're done your corner, always chain one before you leave. And just like we've worked all the way around for this row so far, you're going to work three double crochet, chain one into each of those chain one spaces. When you get to a corner, work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain one, and then three double crochet, chain one into each of those chain one spaces. So you're going to just continue that little pattern all the way around, and I'll catch back up with you near the beginning of this row. Alright, just a quick recap. We started our row down here in a chain one space. So we chained three and worked two more double crochets to complete that shell into that space, chained one to leave, the next space was a corner. Every single chain two corner space, space gets three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain one. Each of the chain one spaces, and there's two that run along each of the sides of this row, get three double crochet, chain one, worked into it. So you've worked that corner, three double crochet, chain one into each of those spaces. That corner, all the way down this side. Your last corner, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain one. You had one more chain one space, so you worked three double crochet, chain one into it. So there's your chain one. And then you're back to the beginning, so you find the top of that chain three that you began with, and slip stitch to join. That's it for the white or the background color. You can snip your yarn, fasten off, and take a moment to weave in your tails with your yarn needle. Alright, here's where we are so far. That's the end of row five 
If you flatten it and do the same thing, put your fingers and thumbs in the corner spaces and just pull out a bit. Maybe flatten it with the heat of your hand. You should have a nice <laughs> flat square with a somewhat raised heart in the center. We're going to finish it off now by returning to the heart color we began with. And we're going to work one more row of the granny shell stitch just to complete this little six inch square. Whenever I'm changing colors, I like to join my yarn in a corner space. So you can pick any corner space you want. Let's go with this one down here. Join your yarn with a slip stitch. Chain three. The chain three counts as a double crochet. You finish that shell with two more double crochet. And because I'm in a corner space, I have to complete the corner. Chain two for a corner. Work three more double crochet into the same corner space. Before I leave, I chain one. So there's my second shell. So I've got shell, chain two shell, worked into that corner space. Chain one. I have three chain one spaces in each row or each side, I should say, in this row. So every chain one space gets three double crochet, chain one worked into it. So three double crochet, chain one for a spacer. I'm gonna repeat that into these two spaces. That brings me up to another chain two corner space. Every chain two corner space gets three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain one worked into it. Every chain one space along each side gets three double crochet, chain one. So you guys are gonna repeat that little granny shell stitch pattern all the way around for our sixth and final row. Once you've worked that little granny shell stitch all the way around, don't forget to work your last chain one for a spacer Find the top of the chain three that you began the row with and join with a slip stitch. You can fasten off. You don't need very much yarn. And take a moment to turn your square over and weave your tail back and forth through some of that really pretty pink yarn. So I like to just pick up a bunch of stitches Bring it down through the corner, so don't pull too tightly because you don't want to pull the whole thing out of alignment. And then just work it back and forth through those corner stitches. Back and forth, back and forth, a few times until it's woven in completely. And if there's any little bit sticking out like this one here, then you can just trim it off. Once you're done, you can do one last little stretch by putting your thumbs and forefingers in the corner. And there you go. All done. That is a heart at the center of a granny square. I've got four of them here already. I love six inch motifs. They work up really, really quickly. And before you know it, you have enough to make something like a sweet little baby blanket. Well, I hope you enjoyed whipping this up with us this week on the Jade and Stitches Show. And we will see you here soon. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week, everybody. Bye.